welcome to I Love Those Figures, showing the way through pop culture. Follow us on Instagram at I Love Loose Figures. Secondhand stigma today on I Love Loose Figures. So you have a problem with thrift stores and resellers. Let me tell you a little bit of the background of thrift stores. If you don't know, thrift stores aren't there just for fun. Thrift stores have purposes. They have reasoning behind what they do. They have a cause. They're made to help people through different things, whether it be helping with paying bills, uh, helping people get back on their feet, to giving employment. So depending on what a thrift store's cause is, is what it's going to base their prices. So if there's a thrift store that just helps people pay bills and they have volunteers instead of paid staff, you can see some things being cheaper in that store. But if you have a thrift store that is helping people with employment and they give them jobs, it's going to cost more to run that business. So guess what? Your product's going to be a little bit higher than normal. Now the stigma is it's donated for free. That is correct. Most of the things that a thrift store get are donated. Now just because they're donated doesn't mean that item isn't worth anything. Somebody could take that item and then go and resell it. We've all seen it. I'm not saying that thrift stores have the best prices ever. Some thrift stores have a little bit crazy prices, but they're trying to do good. Then there's the reseller. The reseller can go out, buy an item, and resell it. Two things. One, they could be a historian, like we are here at I Love Loose Figures, where we want to keep that item relevant to where it doesn't get thrown away. We get to give it life. We get to give it another opportunity to have somebody else enjoy that item to where once they have it, they can hold on to it as long as they want and then they can either pass it down to a family member or they can gift it back to a thrift store to where it can repeat the cycle. That way, things aren't in the landfill. Things aren't getting thrown away. That's a big thing. We don't want landfills being full of crap. We do enough of that on its own. So why not give back to Mother Earth, back to the communities that we're in. Instead of just throwing everything away, we're either selling it through our own personal collections or it's something that we have bought to resell. It's called investing. People getting butthurt because you're investing, learning the time, taking the time to be able to do the research to see what an item's worth, what the flow of the sales are for those items, and to be able to sell it for a profit. What's the problem with that? Comment below. I want to know what you guys' problem is with that. And there's even people out there, you watch their YouTube videos or they're on Instagram or whatever, and they're like, man, I can't believe thrift stores. Their prices are so crazy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give you a tip right now. That reseller got it from a yard sale or at a thrift store. And they're marking it up. So next time some reseller on social media goes, oh, Goodwill is Greedwill. And look how bad they are. Look at their pricing this for so much money. It's a catch-22. I guarantee you, they have purchased items from that same Goodwill before at dirt cheap prices and they flipped it for huge profit. Yeah, I guarantee it. I guarantee it because there's no way that stuff just magically got into their possession for free. You know. Crazy, right? The human mind... It's crazy. Comment below. Human minds being crazy. Thrift stores, they're good people. They're for good. They help people. They help communities. That's what we need in this world. We need more of that. Positivity. 
So next time you go to a thrift store, just be happy that they're there. If you see something you don't like price-wise, move on. You don't have to buy it. Or you do. Because you're, you're a person that's interested in having that item. Or, you know, give back to the community. Buy it, give it to somebody else. As a reseller, I love loose figures. We're not just resellers. We also want to give back to our communities that we are in. And we want to be a light in the world that's so dark. And we look forward to seeing what the future is. And we're looking forward to blessing you with great content. So like, subscribe, make the world go round here at I Love Loose Figures. We'll see you next time.